Hello and welcome to Vienna. Tom and I are here. Get in focus, Tom. You Hello. just need to get very close to me. <laughs> <laughs> Tom and I are here for the EGU 2016. We're giving talks. Hey. We're not at all scared. <laughs> <laughs> so we're off to our first session, which is dynamical meteorology, and then that's actually all we've got on today, really. Yes. I think this afternoon we're both going to be frantically finishing off our presentations because we're kind of giving them to the world's experts in our fields tomorrow. Oh, hang on, the automatic escalators. Oh. Or not. <laughs> <laughs> So Tom and I went to our first set of talks on dynamical meteorology and it's in the same room that we're talking in tomorrow and how would you describe the temperature in the room? It was quite warm. It was uncomfortable. <laughs> we're going to be sweating a lot tomorrow, waiting to give the talks and giving the talk. Also to my left I have Laura who just snapped a picture of me. Laura's the head of, community, uh, of social media for the EGU. So I'm appearing on a panel with her. Well, actually you're not on the panel, you're organising it. I'm appearing on panels uh, tomorrow and on Thursday Day, which should be fun. Once this talk's out of the way, I can relax and enjoy that kind of thing. But how are you feeling about your talk? Um, well, a bit like this, actually. <laughs> yeah, we found a PhD. I'll put that up on the screen. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're both a wee bit nervous about this. Although the talks today went fine. I thought it'd be good to go and see some talks. Yeah, and yeah. people didn't die. Nothing caught on fire. If the, the end of the you know the worst thing that happens is you give a boring talk and people ask you some questions and that's it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what's what's really to fear to be honest. So in an interesting development, uh, our supervisor isn't coming. We are now to pick up his poster and fill in for him. We haven't seen this poster before. We don't know what's on it. Um, he joked that it might just be a large picture of one of our fellow scientists. We, we literally don't know. So this has just got more interesting. <laughs> Let's find out what this is. Yeah. Hopefully somebody else is. <laughs> yeah. There is somebody else. He hasn't put that many words on it, is he? Yeah, this is for Arena the Halak. Yeah. Definitely yep. not. Okay, that. take two. <laughs> we know this is the right one now. Let's find out what we're going to be presenting. It's a game show. It is as simple as he said it was. It is, really. It is, Mark, yeah. do you know what that topic is? Um. Not really. <laughs> um, they want to fill up the water. Right. Okay. Right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, we were totally using the water fountain as a, uh, as a tripod. <laughs> Ingenuity. <laughs> Each academic poster represents months of work for either one or a team of academics, and there are thousands, I think. I think there's about 15,000 abstracts being presented, um, and people come up to you and you know you get to talk to the authors, and it's a really, really interesting experience, but it's very unique to academia, it's a very bizarre thing. So now we're meeting up with some people, and we're going to be going off to get some dinner before Tom and I scuttle back to our rooms to practice our talks relentlessly for a couple of hours. I'm feeling pretty good about, about tomorrow actually. It's now a talk, a poster, and a panel. So, let's get ready for it. I don't even know how to say Weihnachtsfeiern, Hochzeitsferien, Firmen, Wörenstaltungen. Please tell me that's one word. It turns out there's a whole section of the menu about Tony Blair. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Trump was also too. Because they tell me I was a teenager, you know? So dinner was fun. That was a bunch of Englishmen, a Scotsman, a Belgian, a Dutchman, um, and I think a German going to a Mexican restaurant in Vienna run by a Czech gentleman who was excellent. It was a really nice dinner, actually. Um, it seemed to be like a specialty fish place, even though it was Mexican. Tom is being slightly freaked out by the fact that the fish is looking at him. It's, 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 it's giving him the awkward eye. But that was really good. And now back in the hotel. And um, I definitely didn't forget my supervisor's poster. I had to run back for it. Uh, I'm going to run through my talk a few times and um, get a good night's sleep, because tomorrow's kind of what the whole PhD has been building up to, I guess. Which is kind of a scary thought, but I don't want to think about it too much. But then again, the PhD is cumulative. Every day in the PhD is led on to the next day and the next day, because hopefully you're constantly learning. So tomorrow's just another day of constantly learning. It's just that I have to give a public talk to specialists in my field and sit on a panel and present a poster that I don't understand that well. What could possibly go wrong? 
Okay, so Tuesday morning, this is the big day. We've got to first put this bad boy up, post her up the first thing in the morning. Then Tom and I have got to drop off our presentations to give uh, at 10.30. Uh, and uh, then once we drop them off, we can practice a wee bit, give the presentations. Then I need to go and um, start thinking about what I'm going to say on this panel about social media and um, then do the panel. Then after the panel, um, actually present this poster, despite the fact that we don't really know what we're talking about. This is the big one. Okay. What's this? It's the legendary automatic escalators. <laughs> Of a groom, isn't it? Yeah. Extreme yeah. <laughs> events on the 10 hectopascal surface of this index and shows that uh, across all the events, it's, it's downward uh, influence of, of the stratospheric extreme event into the troposphere, which then persists in the, uh, in the troposphere for well, about 60 days. As we begin to understand more about its role on surface weather patterns, it affects both short term and seasonal weather patterns, even as shown in. And that's the talks done. Uh, that was kind of fun in a weird way. Um, we got a little bit grilled afterwards, Tom more than me. Um, both, uh, both talks one off the other. Um, and we had a little bit of, well, not pushback, not hostility, but you know, people. There was one guy who was quite determined to say stuff to us. Um, and then I had a chat with people afterwards, got through the whole session. Big variety of talks, but that went well, didn't it? Wait, sorry, that way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it was okay. There were questions and they were yeah, okay, but they were it was okay. that professor who really kept grilling you. And he was well he wasn't grilling you so much as just standing up and telling you things. Yeah, yeah that which was nice. I like he's, he's now he's now someone we need to look up. Uh, yeah, and read his he, papers. he did a talk as well. He did a talk and he and his papers and the papers he referenced looked interesting. Yes. Even if it, it was slightly uncomfortable, it means that you learn something. So Science, everyone. Right, uh, let's see, and then we've got a panel to go to, haven't we? Yes. Well, I have. Yes. Oh, no, no, before that, we've got the Active Earth thing. Active Earth. Because yes. there's so much going on. This amazing bit of the thin shell and life that changes everything for us, this is a concept that is really, by now, has a part of all of the geosciences. That was an absolutely fascinating talk by a micropolio biologist about um, carbon cycle and life on Earth. It was amazing. So they've introduced this system where you can scan your name badge and it tells you how much you're worth. Oh no, it's telling us that he's got to talk. Right, we're off to our panel on... Oh, sorry. I'm <laughs> off to your panel. Tom is off to my panel on uh, social media using academia and I just missed the stairs. Ah, look, it's me! Lo, 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 lo. That's the end of the social media panel. Tom was the assistant cameraman. Yeah. All the shots you see of me are, are, are from Tom's. Thank you very much. That was fun. Uh, we're all very different people. Um, we, ha we had a blogger, a blogger, this guy, a Twitterer, and a. I'm not even quite. And, and Rolf, who was just his own amazing person, who I might be collaborating with in the future. If you're watching this, Rolf, hopefully we will be. Now we're going to have a look at some posters. Oh, and present one. Yes. Oh, I forgot. Yeah. Day. That is one of the longest days of the PhD yet. That was getting in before nine, leaving after seven, giving a talk, being on a panel, presenting a poster, having a lot of really interesting chats, but that was a lot. The rest of the conference is a bit more chill. We've got things on every day, but 
this is the, the meat of it over and I don't know if you can tell but I am really really tired and I am gonna go to sleep at like nine <laughs> it's gonna be amazing look how nice a day it is The lighting in here is super, super dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> We're waiting for this uh, session. It, we, it might be a Rosetta session or it might be an astronaut session. I'm here with Tom and I'm here with Mario. Mario. Um, you, you, you follow my videos? Yes. You say that as if like you're hesitant to admit it. Yeah, I, I follow you for months, not years. So <laughs> months. Oh, cool. And you're at Manchester. Uh, yeah. what, what's your s stuff? What do you do? I'm looking for microbes that inhabit the lower part of glaciers. Ah, oh, cool. So completely different from me. Well, it kind of shows the diversity of stuff that goes on yeah. here, really. Because all your events are totally different to my events. Exactly, here. yeah. Um, and totally different, in fact, from this. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, this is science. It's everywhere. It's nice. <laughs> and this is space. And everyone thinks space is cool. Um, I put this here. Uh, this is my... Uh, Selfie, uh, the Oscar selfie. It also reminded me that I should take a selfie of you lot. So, uh, <laughs> so the event's still going on. There's a bunch of people over there. Uh, but that session, uh, that was that was uh, Matt Taylor from ESA, who was on the Rosetta mission, and that was absolutely fantastic talk. Really, really interesting. And I got a selfie with him afterwards. Got to shake his hand. Really, really cool dude. You might remember him as the guy who got some controversy from wearing um, uh, a shirt with. Uh, scantily clad ladies on a press conference and there was a whole hoo-ha about that but a really really solid dude and that was that was an excellent talk I'll see if I could find his stuff online and put it in the description because you should check him out really really good So last night was fun. We gate crashed a hydrologist party and got dinner. Um, and now we've got, uh, this is the last day of the conference already. And we're off, for us anyway, there's a day we're missing tomorrow. Um, but we're going off to a session on polar climate change and polar predictability, which is relevant to what we do. And then um, I'm on a panel about filmmaking. We then allow this ocean to drop below freezing in order to keep uh, open water where we want um, open water. Um, this should uh, might seem strange uh, physically to allow that sub freezing temperature. So that was a um, very useful session. We just found out. Just got a static shot from the escalator. Um, we uh, we found out about a new statistical technique which we're going to be trying to apply. Is it this, this way? That way. It's that way. Um, uh, which we're going to be applying to our work. So I've now got someone to email and uh, some papers to look up and that's a whole area of investigation we didn't even know existed up until about half an hour ago. So. <laughs> Great stuff. And we're done. That's the end of the conference proceedings, uh, for me at least. Um, the session on um, filmmaking was really interesting. Um, so it was, it was great to take questions from people in the audience um, and kind of give back. I went to the session, that session exactly two years ago, except I was in the audience. So um, I found myself repeating a lot of the advice I was given um, and sort of drawing on what I've been doing on YouTube. And then we um, also had the uh, uh, session afterwards, which was on promoting your videos uh, and stuff. Um, which was really good. I got the audience, by the way, to say hello to you. Hello, you. That wasn't so hard, was it? <laughs> <laughs> and now uh, that's it. We, we, after that, we had uh, some talks we went to and some posters, and um, we're now about to leave and go back home. So thank you very much for coming with me. I hope this was enlightening to you. This has definitely been one of the best probably the best conference I think I've ever been to. This was absolutely great stuff. Thank you to Laura for asking me to be on the panels and for being such a great social media manager for the EGU. Um, and hopefully I'll be back here again next year. Thanks for watching. It's taught me several analytical skills. It's taught me how to approach a problem, come up with an idea, test the idea, and then move forward. So I am not at all worried about the fact that a large part of my PhD isn't going into my thesis. Um, in fact, there's a, a saying, at least uh, amongst quite a few people here, which is, but it does raise the question of the me which I, I personally think that I am, and the me, the me which I put on display, if you like. It's like an online persona.